So let me show you guys exactly how to go from Figma to Webflow. So first of all, we're going to open up Figma, of course. Now we're looking at this website. What I want to start off with is the nav. Preferably, and in fact, then I want to start off with the hero section. That's a bit easier. So first of all, you want to try and collect your images or SVGs. So for example, this, I'll export that as an SVG. You want to go through the whole website and collect as many SVGs and PNG images as possible. So I'd export this as an SVG, export this as an SVG. Preferably icons you want to export as SVGs and images you want to export as PNGs. Now, after you've done that, what you want to do is you want to start off and you want to work from the top of the website to the bottom of the website. So first of all, I'm going to start off with this hero section right here. Now, as you can see, I can't select this image, image, but that's not an issue because I'll just start off with the heading first of all. So now I'm looking at this text. I'm going to go to inspect and I'm going to review the information of it. Now I can see the size is 48 pixels. So when I go over to Webflow, what I'm going to start off with, since I like to work with um, EMs, I'm going to set the body text to 16 pixels or you can go for, in fact, what would be better would be 0 1.05 view width. Then I'm going to add in a div block and I'm going to call this our hero section. Now, I'm just going to create the hero section within here. So first of all, we've got that heading over there. I'm going to add that in within the hero section. Then I'm going to add in a H2 and I'm going to finish with a button. So another heading and then a button. Now let's arrange this all. So let's put everything in here. So first of all, we saw with that um, H1 that the text size was 48 pixels. So of course you could just go straight over here and copy and say 48 pixels, but we want to try and make our designs responsive in all cases, right? So instead of 0 0.5 viewport width, I will actually use 16 pixels just for the purpose of this video. I would usually use 1.05 viewport width. And then for the heading, the H1, I'm going to set that to 3EM. In fact, I'll use REMS. So now that is exactly 48 pixels or it should be. So if I publish this to select a domain, it's just going to take a second. <coughs> then I open this link. Then I go to my um, extensions and I'm going to use what font. And I click on this. As you can see, it's exactly 48 pixels. Now, when I go back to Webflow, um, in fact, let me check Figma first of all. I'm going to check this text here. So this is 16 pixels. So I'm going to have this at one rem. And let me remove that. And then the beautiful thing about Figma is that you can actually just copy text straight from the website. Within this um, design, I can't because it's not actually my design. But no worries about that. Best cleaning service in Pakistan for first. And then for Lorem, I'm pretty sure we can just add a Lorem text. Do, 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 do. Uh, let me just search Lorem Ipsum. And I'll just generate some Lorem text quickly. I'm going to go back to Webflow. I'm going to copy that. Yes, yes, beautiful. So now I'm going to look at inspect again. I'm going to check the padding between the this text. So that's 216. In fact, let me do that from here. 185 that way, 146 that way. Let's go for 150 pixels both sides. So 150 divided by 16, that gives us 9.375 EM both sides. So when I go here, a section, I'm going to select padding, 9.375 rem, 9.375 rem. Beautiful. Now, top padding. The pattern between here and the nav is 150px, so I can just do the same thing again. 9.375 rem. And that is it, guys. Just a quick tutorial on how to go from Figma to Webflow. See you guys later. Like and follow.